All right, so today I'll be showing you guys how to get your Minecraft game to look exactly like Minecraft Java. As you guys can see, my game currently looks exactly like Minecraft Java. I have my chat down there. It looks exactly like that. And honestly, this is the closest you could ever get. I've done this type of video before, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on mobile as well. Because way before, you weren't able to do this on mobile, but now you are finally able to do so. I've done this before, and I asked you guys for 200 likes. And if we if we were to hit that, then I'll show you guys how to do the exact same thing on mobile and get your game to look like exactly like java basically before you had to use a launcher but now something new has come out and all you have to do is use a text pack which works on absolutely everything it works on mobile and all you need to do is add this text pack and if you guys would like more these type of videos like how to make your game fully fully like java i can even make a video on how to make this ui stuff i i would add it but it makes my game lag but i could even make a video on it if you guys would like that make sure you guys smash that like button let's go for 100 likes and also if you're new here make sure you guys subscribe i do videos like this like pretty much all the time i make your game look way way nicer run way smoother and get way more fps obviously it works flawlessly as you guys can see it starts working instantly and the, and the ch chat is right down there honestly this is a lot nicer because the chat is not up there and it doesn't like clutter with anything and when you open it like you're you can still see your screen you don't it like nothing nothing else goes away and i think this is just a lot nicer obviously there's a bunch of more stuff in the settings which you can also do to make the game look more like java all right so the first thing you need to do is to click hide paper doll okay what this does is basically you guys see the care you guys look look in the top left you guys will not see a character whenever i'm sprinting but if i were to turn it back on as you guys can see if you look in the top left right now you can see my, my person running up there and honestly in my opinion this does not help at all uh, there's no need to have it having this and it literally just gives away that you're on bedrock i would just turn that on and honestly it, it saves you with fps also second thing you want to do is you want to make your uh ui profile classic i know a lot of you guys already have it like that but pocket just makes it look very very weird and it just it, it, this is this is not nice okay this literally is a dead giveaway i know a lot of, a lot of you guys already have it on uh pocket i mean on, on classic but if you don't make sure you change it to classic right here it makes it a lot nicer third thing you want to do is you want to change the gui scale modifier to minus one or the lowest you can because anything bigger than this and this looks absolutely disgusting so make sure you make it to minus one it looks a lot nicer and there you go now your game looks a lot lot nicer and honestly if you compare this with java it doesn't look that much different let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like me to make a ui that looks exactly like java whenever you open it but for, for me the, right now this looks a lot nicer and for some reason it doesn't lag as much and it doesn't use as much fps which which is pretty good you know you, that's what you want to do you want to make sure your fps is high while still being able to play the game and having enjoying it it's cool that texture packs like this are, are being made because that means that the customization is pretty much endless the only thing that's different now from java and bedrock is that the, is the fact that you could do this and there we go this is uh, this is the only thing that would change it uh other than that it would be exactly the same a, a cps counter also stuff like that you have to download it on your pc uh an fps counter the same thing you have to download it on your pc and then you could implement it into minecraft i mean obviously you could get the auto sprint and stuff like that but the, i mean you have to download it on your own pc and whenever you press like uh let's say for, let's say for example i set up a macro that whenever i press r it just keeps pressing it it will have to keep pressing it forever and whenever like i click another button it just it just keeps pressing it forever and i, I obviously i don't have click it again but whenever you do leave minecraft and you press r outside of minecraft then obviously since it's on your pc it will just press it again so if you're type trying to type anything you type r one time it will just spam r forever which is which kind of which kind of is annoying but you can't turn it off and on but you know no one wants to do that everyone just wants to come into the game and just start using it so until until a good good solution comes out maybe then i'll make a video but if you guys still want a macro video then I, I guess i could do that too but that'll be kind of difficult all right everyone thank you all so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this today's video then make sure you guys leave a like subscribe if you guys are new i'm a road to 15,000 subscribers so make sure you guys hit, hit that if you guys haven't hit it already go ahead and do so now May, i'll do more videos like these and i'll make sure you guys games look absolutely perfect and if you guys have anything else that could make your game more look more like java please leave it down below in the comments or join my discord link in the description and dm me it or send it there or anything like that honestly even if you don't have anything join my discord anyway because there's a, there's a bunch of people in there and it's pretty nice all right everyone thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out